the Republican Accountability Project. You might remember that name. This is a group that was formed um, to they got lots of attention when they came together and formed last year. These are Republicans, many of them high profile former Trump administration officials who have changed their mind, who reject Trumpism in their party, who are horrified by what happened while Donald Trump was in office as president. Um, the Republican Accountability Project is sort of sees its role now as trying to expose the ugliness of Trumpism in the Republican Party and trying to break the former president's hold on the current party. Well, a few days ago, they posted a uh, tape online, which showed a pro-Trump Republican congressman named Paul Gosar addressing on September 11th uh, what appears to be a small crowd of supporters at a restaurant in Scottsdale, Arizona. And the tape is, the tape is really quite something. For one thing, it is, it is just hard to believe looking at this. Viscerally, it is hard to believe that this is a sitting member of Congress. But it is. We can do that and follow through on this audit. Folks, if, if it's what I've been told, and I had people come to me early hours of the, the day after, from the Security Exchange Fraud Department to the CIA Fraud Department, that between 450 and 700,000 ballots were altered in the state of Arizona. And I'll give you some validation. Dominion, which happens to be the machines in, in Maricopa County. Why do I bring that up? Is they're known for switch and delete. Okay, kind of suspicious. If this audit comes out the way it is, I have to tell you, we have to charge people. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. The supervisors have to be charged. So what, what I'm telling you, the governor knew exactly what I just told you. Yes. And he's still certified. It could have been avoided. Now, there's some also some good news. In Georgia, they're doing a forensic audit called Fulton County, which is the Atlanta area. Jody Heiss, who's my friend who's running for the Secretary of State because of the problems there, has told me that there are error rates of over 60% in many of the precincts. 60% errors in the election. He's got sources from the Security Exchange Fraud Department. Anybody ideas? Any? Anybody? Any? Hmm? The Security Exchange Fraud Department, he's got his sources, and also the CIA Fraud Department. Now, when somebody emailed you, Congressman, and told you they were the CIA fraud department, did they also ask for your bank account number? Did they also ask for you to wire them a little something? Is it possible the email came from a Nigerian prince? No, he's got his sources, the Security Exchange Fraud Department and the CIA Fraud Department, and the guy, his friend who's running in Georgia knows it's 60% error in the election. This is this month. This is September 2021. His name is Paul Gosar. He is a serving member of Congress. I should tell you, um, and I don't mean this with any snark, there has been some reporting in the Arizona press that it is possible that he is not well, that there may be something health-wise going on with Congressman Gosar. We have no reason to believe that's true, and I should let you know that the Congress, Congressman has said in response to that reporting that he's fine health-wise. Um, but this is, this was not... Uh, Paul Gosar is not saying, like, I don't know what that was. I'm sorry I was having a meltdown. This is what Republican members of Congress are selling back home right now. And again, all the Beltway press is like, there's normal politics happening in Washington. What's going on in the Republican Party deserves looking at, deserves attention, because what they're saying, particularly at home to their constituents, particularly as they start getting ready to run for re-election, is all of this stuff. And... It's a current animating force in one of the two major parties in our country. Pretending that it's not or pretending that this is in the past isn't helping us.